the Mercedes Maybach S564 Matic Ultra Luxury Sedan is for the affluent buyer who prefers understated elegance to unadulterated ostentation. Whereas the Bentley Flying Spur and the Rolls Royce Ghost are both equal parts opulent indulgences and style statements, the Maybach pairs its lavish innards with bodywork similar to that of the shorter and more demure Mercedes Benz S Class. Like its lesser S Class brethren, the Maybach has undergone an extensive refresh for 2018. All S Class sedans receive new fashions along with LED headlights and tail lamps that better align the car's looks with those of newer Mercedes products. On the Maybach, fresh details include a small Maybach bat housed within the redesigned grille and a Maybach-specific front bumper that includes chrome-outlined lower air intakes. Even so, the Mercedes Maybach's most notable exterior features remain its elongated greenhouse and rear doors. Both are the result of the Maybach's stretched wheelbase, which, at 132.5 inches, is 7.9 inches longer than that of its Pence counterpart. The extra length directly benefits rear seat passengers, as legroom increases from 34.1 inches in the Benz to an even 40.0 inches in the Maybach. The sumptuous rear compartment includes four-way power-adjustable outboard seats with heating and cooling functions, power-operated leg rests, and a built-in massage feature. Those in search of additional splendor can drop $1,950 to have the rear bench replaced with a pair of individual seats and a full-length center console with folding tray tables. A refrigerated box in the rear adds another $1,100 to the bill, while handcrafted silver champagne flutes will set customers back $3,200. Entertainment screens attached to the front seatbacks are standard and offer rear passengers their own set of infotainment controls as well as individual sets of wireless headphones. Although the Maybox accommodating rear quarters are its proverbial heart and soul, the car is no less enjoyable from the comfort of its 12-way power-adjustable front seats, both of which can heat, cool, and massage those settled in their cozy confines. As in all S-Class models, the Maybox dashboard is marked by a pair of 12.3-inch screens. The one mounted directly in front of the driver serves as the instrument cluster but also is able to display other pertinent vehicle information such as the feed from the standard front-mounted infrared night vision camera. The second screen sits in the center of the dash and covers all infotainment functions. Unlike last year's model, both screens now rest under a single piece of glass for a sleeker look. A center console mounted rotary knob with a touchpad above and remain the primary means for users to interact with the central screen. Alternately, the driver can interface with both screens by way of touch sensitive pads located on the reshaped three spoke steering wheel. The right pad works the center screen, while the left one manages the instrument cluster. The infotainment system also accepts voice commands. In place of the previous steering column mounted cruise control stock, the 2018 S-Class moves all cruise control functions to the steering wheel. Engaging the adaptive cruise control system reveals myriad changes, including a greater use of navigation data, which allows the Maybach to automatically adjust its speed in preparation for upcoming turns. We found the semi-autonomous functions to be a few steps short of perfection, with the Maybach slowing down too drastically for turns. Furthermore, the active steering system had a tendency to ping on the car back and forth across the lane on all but the straightest of roads. We did appreciate the upgraded lane change assist system, which now allows the Maybach to automatically change lanes with a simple tap of the turn signal stock. Turn off the self-driving features, though, and the Maybach drives with the stoic confidence synonymous with the three-pointed star. As before, the steering is perfectly tuned to the intended mission, it's light and creamy at low speeds, but quickly and seamlessly adds weight and feedback as speeds climb. Likewise, the cushy air spring suspension delivers first-class refinement over road imperfections while avoiding excessive body roll through turns or pronounced dive during heavy braking. Rolling on a set of staggered, 20-inch Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric two-run flat summer tires, the 5,143-pound S564 Matic circled our skid pad with a Mazda Miata vesting 0.91 grams of grip. It also managed to stop from 70 miles per hour in a fade-free 163 feet, and its firm and reassuring brake pedal would feel at home in a sports car. 
armed with a new 463 horsepower twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 engine in place of last year's 449 horsepower twin turbo 4.7 liter, the Maybach shocked up modest acceleration gains. It stormed to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds and through the quarter mile in 13.1 seconds at 110 miles per hour, whereas a 2017 Mercedes Maybach S554 Matic we tested needed 5.0 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour and 13.5 seconds to cross the quarter mile at 109 miles per hour. Like the prior engine, the new twin-turbo V8 is devoid of any noticeable lag, while the standard formatic all-wheel drive system applies torque to each wheel with the finesse of Lionel Messi dribbling a soccer ball. Meanwhile, the 9-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters is utterly unobtrusive, and its quick reactions to accelerator inputs helped send our Selenite Grey test car from 30 to 50 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds and from 50 to 70 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Both figures bettered those of the previous model by 0.2 second. Opting for the additional space and splendor of the Mercedes Maybach S564 Matic requires a minimum of $169,595, or $65,700 more than Mercedes charges for a mechanically similar, but slightly less opulent, Mercedes-Benz S564 Matic. Thanks to $5,000 worth of 20-inch wheels and $1,000 in beige and blue designer leather, our Maybach wore an as-tested price of $175,595, which is still $16,130 less than an entry-level, 8-cylinder flying spur, and $138,805 less than the 12-cylinder Ghost. Although the Maybach's familiar styling may not garner the same attention as its British competition, the massive Mercedes provides a similarly co-sitting cabin as those found in the pricier Bentley and Rolls-Royce. Be sure to find a good chauffeur, though, because if you're not going to ride in the Maybach's opulent rear seat, you may want to stick with the smaller and less expensive Mercedes-Benz S564 Matic.